Hello YouTube, this is the first video in our Minesweeper um, JavaScript and Canvas game development series. In this video, we're going to be basically uh, going over what we're going to be doing and uh, creating a basic layout. So, throughout the series, we're going to be creating a basically customizable a Minesweeper game of customizable size that has the basic functionality of Minesweeper and for those of you who don't understand Minesweeper will uh, pull up a little game here so um, basically the way it works is there is a grid of boxes and there are ten bombs hidden within these hundred boxes and you don't want to click on a bomb you want to click on a box without a bomb and when you click on a box without a bomb it tells you how many bombs are surrounding it. So if this box has zero bombs surrounding it, it's going to be blank. If this box has one bomb surrounding it, it's going to be one. If this has two bombs surrounding it, it's going to be two. So this could only have a maximum of two bombs surrounding it, right there and right there, but we know that there's only one bomb surrounding it, so we have a 50-50 chance of clicking on a bomb. Um, so we clicked on a bomb. Um, we can restart. So we know there's a bomb here because this one um, is only touching one square and it's also touching one bomb. So we can right click and flag it as a bomb. And that will. And we have to have 10 flags to win basically. So if that one's already touching one, that has to be clear. If that one's already touching one, that has to be clear. If that one's already touching one, Diagonally has to be clear. That one's already touching one. It has to be clear all around it. All right. So this one also has to be touching one, and this is the only box it's touching. So there we can flag that. But this one has to be touching two, and it's only touching two boxes. So we can flag that also. Um, yeah. So it works kind of like that, and we're going to be doing the same, a very similar thing. Um, we're going to be using Canvas to display our boxes. I think this is just using divs and stuff and images. Um, but we'll be using some more advanced methods. Uh, yeah, so I'm not going to finish up my game here because I don't really care about it. But uh, yeah, so let's get started. We'll First we'll create a document. And we'll give it a head and body tag. And we'll create a div for the game for the game canvas. Inside that we'll create a canvas ID G canvas. And we'll say width for now is equal to 400 heights equal to 400 All right. and we're going to have a canvas um, for the controls with 400 height 80 I guess and we'll load up our script here so we'll say window dot on ready is equal to function and we'll put our other code inside of there. Um, here's where, we're def where we'll define our context. So we'll say var canvas is equal to document dot get element 
by ID. Um, actually, we're gonna be doing our control panel up here, just using regular HTML. We're not gonna be doing it with Canvas. That's too complicated and unnecessary. Um, so our only canvas will be the game canvas. So we can get that by using this method. And if you're watching this tutorial and you have no idea what I'm doing right now, you should go check out our Canvas Basics tutorial. Um, we'll get you kind of started on Canvas. And JavaScript, if you don't know what JavaScript does really, you can go ahead and check out our JavaScript Basics and Advanced tutorial series. Um, you'll probably need to know some advanced JavaScript stuff for this. So, yeah. Um, I'm just going to continue with this. Uh, we're going to just do that. So now we have this canvas object, and then we're going to say our C, which is our going to be our context, is going to be canvas.getContext2D. And now we can see that um, we will fill a rectangle at 50, 50, 300, 300. So that's going to be a triangle, that, uh, a rectangle that starts at 50, 58, and is 300 by 300. And then we'll see that fill. Give that a run here. Nothing. Actually, I don't think we need any of this. That should work just by itself. Oh. Um. Oh. Um. Sorry about that. I actually used on ready instead of on load. So. There we go. Um, we're going to be using this control or uh, developers panel down here a lot to uh, debug. I'm going to be pausing the video and debugging um, when I basically whenever I get an error, uh, just to save you guys the time and then explain the error after I unpause it. But um, you guys, if you want to try to figure out the error yourself when something comes up you could pause the video and try to resolve the error um, or problem so as you can see we drew a 300 by 300 square at 50 50 and um, we're basically going to be drawing a grid of uh, squares not squares but images um, I'll be creating an image for my tiles basically but yeah um, so that's about it for this video in the next one we'll be creating the actual grid and we'll be um, mapping images to each grid item and making it so that when you click on an on a square basically it will call a function um, we won't make that function do anything yet but the function will eventually do something yeah so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.